Hey Charlie. Hello. What Dan. did we just watch? We watched Young Justice. Yes, we did. Hello, and welcome to a review on my lovely channel. This is the wonderful Charlie Brown. He's going to be the here. The wonderful Charlie Brown. You mean the random bloke that was just ha happened to be at your house? Yes. Okay, the so random bloke that just happens to be in my house. <laughs> that guy. Anyways, <clears throat> this is going to be a sort of new series where basically we're going to review episodes of Young Justice. So we just watched the first episode right there. Uh, Young Justice, for the people who don't know, was a cartoon, was a DC animated cartoon airing, <coughs> pardon me, around 2000, <laughs> 2014. What? Continue. <laughs> Fine. It was a cartoon airing around 2014 last year. It, and I've, I really love the show and I've been pestering nearly everyone I meet to watch the show, including Dan here. And now I've finally got him to sit down and watch it. So after watching the first episode, I must say that it was interesting. It was really good. Um, speaking from a speaking from a like a future perspective, because I know where the yeah. show is going, I forget how good an introduction this sh to the show uh, this episode is. It highlights all the powers. It's quite a good introduction to Caldor Aqualad, who I don't think was in the comics at all. He was made specifically for this show, oh, okay. and he does have quite an interest. You know, quite you know. A very unique design and um, yeah, the very unique design, unique power has a very kind of like distinct voice by Kari Patron. I think that's his name, Kari Karari Patron or Kari Patron. Karari Patron. He voiced Cyborg. In oh right! Really? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Well, there you go. Um, <laughs> you can tell I know a lot about this show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I liked what they did with the younger versions of the Justice League, like. Their sidekicks, as they don't really like to be known as. Mm -hmm. But still, it was. Uh, they're interesting characters. It, I, I like Robin. Robin. Robin is probably one of my. Okay, I'm probably going to say this for every other character, but I'm going to say this character is my favorite character in the show. <laughs> <laughs> like every other one we meet, because I really do like them all. And you yeah. want, but what you said, you're coming about sidekicks. That will be a recurring thing throughout the entire show because right. the tagline for the entire show, always show when it was coming out, like the tagline for the posters and the others was "Don't call them sidekicks." Yeah, it's kind of like about this entire show at its core. It's kind of like a proving ground for these younger heroes and how they want respect from the Justice League, how they handle their own issues, how they grow in grow into people, not necessarily for the better, mind yeah. you, with the different characters. But you'll get introduced uh, introduced and. In, uh, to new characters and see how they grow, okay. and it's also a really good um, episode how it starts out because it introduces some one some of the characters' major flaws that will come into play quite early on. So your comment about Robin, um, you notice notice how he repeatedly kind of ran off out of nowhere, yeah. just like like Robin, what should we do? And then like he's gone, and you hear like, like a little cackling laughter in the background. Yeah. That's gonna play a part in it, and like, okay. later on, and how the team reacts to him and how he can like integrate into the rest of the group. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure as you've all seen, like, if you've ever seen any, like, Young Justice trailers or posters, or have even heard of Young Justice that so you know Superboy is in it. Well, at the end of the episode, there was a surprising little twist. Because whenever you think of Superman, you always think of him as a hero, the the good guy, and when you think of Superboy, you think of the exact same thing. Well, not... uh, Superboy in the comics is an angsty whiner, to be honest. Especially yeah. in his new 52, when he doesn't want to be known as Superboy, he wants to be known as yeah. the, uh, what was it, the Metropolis Kid! <laughs> yeah. But, um, I was surprised to see that he's basically an experiment, I think? Yeah, he's, he's, a, an, experiment. he's an experiment um, made from Superman's DNA. So made from Superman's and DNA. And you'll be learning more about him come later in the series. Cool. Well, he's watched the series already. Twice. And I haven't. <laughs> Twice. So this is me just getting into it. But yeah, whenever you think of Superman, you think of a hero. Um, and as soon as I heard that Superboy was going to be in it, I was sort of him as a hero. And it's clear, it's clearly obvious from this episode that we're going to see his character progress into a sort of like Superman hero of the Young Justice. Uh. That's kind of like what his character arc is based on, but it doesn't go that easy. I don't right. want to spoil anything, but it's not going to go that easy of him just be like coming out to camera and going, I'm Superboy! Yeah. And just like, because basically, a lot of people kind of criticise Superboy for being quite angsty and being very teen drama, yeah. which I do kind of argue against, I, against, but I won't spoil it for you now. I'll tell you things as we come, come across them in the show, but they're, okay. 
basically the writer and director of this show is called Greg Weidman, who is a personal kind of like hero of mine, because he also wrote Gargoyles and Spectacular Spider- Spectacular Spider-Man, two of my other favourite shows ever. And Greg, I'm not sure if it, was, if it was Greg's decision to include some of the things that he did with Superboy, yeah. but I have an inkling to think that he did, because it does seem like his kind of print fingerprints that are yeah. all, kind of like all over it, like little story stuff, but I will address those as they come up. Okay. I won't spoil anything just now. But yeah, um, basically Superboy turns out to be an experiment. And it all goes wrong, basically, the young, the young Justice. Well, probably start from the plot in the beginning. Okay, yeah, well, right, we'll start off from the beginning. Yeah. Because we're going way too, we're going, like, way too into <laughs> you're, it. You're jumping the gun right. a bit. So it starts off with the Young Justice along with their former uh, leaguers. Leaguers. Uh, leaguers. Le- uh, yeah. Flash, <laughs> Batman, and Green Arrow, and they're all in a... In, and Aquaman. And they're all... They're... Just, it starts out with just like a random ice villain coming in and attacking the city, these two taking them out, and then it ends up then going, uh, after they defeat them, they go to the Justice League um, Hall of Justice. And after going there... Today's the day! Yes, it's a, there, it, they're, they're the younger uh, sidekicks are hoping that they'll be able to become members of the official Justice League. But it turns out the Leaguers are not exactly playing fair, they're not exactly lying, but they're kind of like keeping them on the on a... Far, they keeping them away from a ten foot pole. Basically, anything that involves Batman pretty much involves being kept at a ten foot pole. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh. Gosh. And so after this, Speedy goes off and huff because he just wants to be taken seriously as a, you know, as a member of the Justice League, and he's yeah. not. And the other three, which are Aqualad, Caldor, who is Caldor, uh, Robin, who is Dick Grayson, and uh, Kid Flash, who is Wally West, they are gonna go on on a random mission that the League kind of like picked up on but they had a bigger issue to do so they're going off on their own mission and it turns out they're growing up Superboy so it's a lot bigger than they think and Superboy after they free him goes berserk takes them out and that's when the episode cuts yeah so technically they gave birth to Superboy but no not them but <laughs> yeah Kid, like, <laughs> Kid some... Flash Aqualad and Robin didn't give birth to Superboy that would make a very weird relationship dynamic yeah. I know this one get the training <laughs> okay dad <laughs> I know this one thing in the although it probably would it probably would break a lot of barriers though yeah probably <laughs> I know this one thing in the episode yeah. though it's like the doctor guy had like a really weird creepy face when he was saying something it was like the first point where you see the doctor like the doctor, that. the doctor who seems to be in charge of this giant yeah. lab. That they... he, pulled, he pulled a very creepy face. I'm not gonna lie. Like his face was just like the quality of Dan's channel, ladies and gentlemen. Reviews. <laughs> Dan, no, Dan. No, <laughs> Dan. <laughs> You're scaring the audience. Can't stand my laugh. <laughs> um, but yeah, so from this first episode, though, I really, I'm enjoying getting to know the characters. So I am, and I'm looking forward to seeing how this progresses throughout the series. Now, I know this is an older animated series, but... Older? It's a year. Well, is it really just a year? Yeah. I thought it was came out in 2014. Oh, right. Well, it's just a year, so... But uh, I thought, like, I'd give it a try. He's been going on about it constantly. I and, love um, show. I love <laughs> Yeah, he, he really does. So, uh, what's going to happen now is we've, we've done the first episode, so... Join us in the next video where we will review the second episode and I think we're going to try a couple other animated series. Uh, we'll see how this one goes, see how people respond and if people like me I'll come back, if they don't I'll go home and cry under my pillows and hide from the world. The Charlie will return. <laughs> His name's Charlie Brown by the way, which that is, is awesome. That, that is my name. Yeah, so... I swear, if anyone leaves any <laughs> newbie comments, I'm going to do, you know, do yeah. the action I said previously, which is go to my room, cry and, under a, cry and hide under a cover. <laughs> so you actually um, have nothing to hide from me, I'm not threatening you. <laughs> uh, but Noah, thank you very much for watching, me and the glorious and wonderful Charlie Brown. Uh, oh, it's been wonderful. Please shut up. <laughs> I'm very sorry for giving you a bloody compliment. God. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Uh, if you want to give it a thumbs up or like it, then smack the button. Uh, and yeah, thank you for watching once again. Uh, so take care of yourselves, guys. Are you wanting to say? See you in the next one. <laughs>